Welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. Today is June 18th, 2020, and a new Inside the Vault was released today. And the big news is the public teams. Over time, we've received lots of requests from the Fallout 76 community for quality of life improvements when it comes to finding other players and forming teams. With Update 20, we're excited to introduce you to public teams, which will make grouping up with your friends and other players easier and more beneficial than ever. Once Update 20 arrives, all you need to do to get started with public teams is to open the social menu. We've added a new public teams tab at the top that you can select to browse all of the public teams available in your current world. While you're perusing the list, you will see that every public team has its own team goal, like exploring or building, which will help you find other like-minded players more easily. Public teams can have up to four members. As long as there's an open spot, you can click on one of the teams in the list to join immediately. You can also take a look at the in-game map to check out where public teams are in the world. Team leaders will display special icons on the map showing their current team goal, and you can click on them to see additional details or join their team directly. If you don't find what you're looking for in the list or on the map, hit Create New Team to kick off a public team of your own. You will need to select a goal for your team, and as you can see in the image, they've got hunting, you get a bonus XP for legendary kills, role play, events, exploration, building, and just casual. And you and your teammates will receive a buff based on the theme of your team goal, so choose carefully to make sure you attract teammates who share your ambitions. Once you've selected a goal, your public team will be created and all players in your current world will receive a notification that a new public team is available. With any luck, your team will soon fill up with some friendly faces and you can take on Appalachia as a group. After being on a team together for a short time, you and your teammates will begin to form bonds. And these are the, ter the current team goals and the bonuses associated with them. Under hunting, you get a plus 25 XP for legendary kills and 100% for a fully bonded team. Uh, role play, you get plus one charisma. Events, plus 25% bonus XP for completing events. That's huge. Exploration, plus one endurance, plus four when you have your fully bonded team. Building, plus one intelligence. And casual, plus one luck. And you're also free to switch your team goal at any time by using the social menu. Just make sure to give your teammates a heads up when you do. If you need to make a roster change, you also have the ability to kick or block players from your team who don't turn out to be very nice. And what's happening to the normal teams? Private teams as you know them today will still be available after public teams arrive. Any team you form through direct invite or from the main menu will begin as a private team. Once you're in-game, you can then choose to turn your private team into public by using the social menu. In fact, the best way to ensure your friends get guaranteed spots in your public team is to first invite them to private and then convert it to public if you want to fill any empty slots. There's also a couple of differences between private teams and public teams that will help prevent strangers from messing with your stuff. While in a public team, you and your teammates will not be able to build in each other's camps. Excellent. Additionally, you cannot open locked doors or containers that your public teammates have built without becoming wanted. And finally, we've adjusted the rules of team PVP for both private and public teams so that a team member who engages in T PvP with an outside player no longer flags their teammates for PvP. This is excellent. This will help prevent players from being dragged into PvP combat that they did not initiate. And this is all coming with Update 20. Thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you out in the wasteland.